Hi everyone, I am Anderson Chia, Microsoft and YouTube. Today, I would like to share with you about container support in Azure Cognitive Services. Okay, who am I? I am Microsoft MVP and also a speaker. Please follow me, follow my Twitter because I will moving from my Facebook to Twitter. Then and also please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel. If you got any suggestions, any video you want to hear from me, you please let me know. Okay, what is container? A virtual machine is a virtualized machine created and managed by a hypervisor such as VirtualBox or Hyper-V. Even though virtual machine runs on a machine that has an operate, operating system, each virtual machine requires its own complete operating system, even its same operating system as the host OS. Virtual machine offer a very high degree of isolation, but a course longer start Startup time, lower probability. You want try to move a 127 gigabit virtual hard disk or VHD from a one PC to another, and higher memory requirement. Container by contrast leverage the operating system that is already in place, but offer nearly as much separation RAM. RAM requirement are lower since the OS is not begin duplication in each container and cost lower. Because while cloud platform typically ch charge of each virtual machine a single virtual machine can house multiple container instead. Docker Docker is not the world only container platform but is the most popular. It is free, open source, and Linux based with Windows support, Windows Server 216 in the works. It has earned massive MyShare developer community. And with Azure Container, Container Services, you can deploy Docker Container to Azure with minimal efforts. Moreover, Docker Container uh, easily move between Azure and Amazon Web Service, affording durable port portability between cloud platform. Docker utilize a client server architecture. You execute Docker command through a Docker client, such as Docker CLI. The client use REST command to communicate with the docker daemon running on a docker host such as the azure container services this command can be used to push pull and create a docker image to run them in container and to manage those container image can be built with the docker build command and they can be standalone or they can inherit from the other image. Image are stored in Docker registry, which can be public or private, local or remote. Docker Hub. Docker Hub is a popular public registry that is managed by Docker. It contains a huge collection of images that anyone may use. The docker run commands run a container using an image as a template. The, code, the docker client, as known as the docker command line interface, docker CRI, is the primary tool you, you use to manage the docker container. You can download container image from repositories such as docker hub, Build container image, run container instance, list container image and instance, 
and much more. After connecting to Azure Container Services using SSH, you can import forwarding to execute command locally that add on an Azure Container Services running in the cloud. In this example, example H switch used with the docker command forward command send to port 22375 on localhost to the Azure Container Services via SSH. This command pull the image name Ubuntu from Docker Hub or a local register if the image is cached then and run interactively in the container. Interactively means standard input, output and error are connected locally so you can provide input to the container and see the output. Of course, you are not limited to the Ubuntu image. You can specifically add the image even create image of your own Docker build where the containers run depends on the context. The container can run locally in a Docker host, for example, a VM on Windows. Or it can remotely if you connect to a remote Docker daemon, for example, one running in Azure via we are Azure internally and use port forwarding to forward Docker command to the daemon. These are some of the co most commonly used Docker commands. You can also use Docker push to push an image to a registry such as Docker Hub. Also, Docker PS PowerShell is often accomplished by a dash A switch to list all containers, including those they are no longer running, while Docker RM and Docker RMI are used to delete, remove container and it an image respectively. The docker build command uses a docker file, a text file containing build command and a context. For example, a specifically directly in this file system to build docker image. From the documentation, Azure Container Services made uh, it simple for you to create configure and manage a cluster of virtual machines that are pre-configured to run container containerized application it use optimized configuration of popular open source scheduling and orchestration to this enable you to use your assistance group or draw upon a large and growing body of community experts expertise to deploy and manage container-based application on Microsoft Azure. ACS Azure Container Service support Linux container and Windows container. The latter rely on Windows Server 216. Here what happens in Azure when you add an Azure Container Service with Docker Swarm as the orchestra, Azure create one or more master virtual machine to control the shown of container, as well as virtual machine scale set, which provide the agent VM which a container run. All the all these virtual machine communicate over a private virtual network to communicate with Docker Swarm in master virtual machine. From the Docker client running on a local machine, you establish an NH tunnel that forward to the local port 22375 to port 2375 in the VM via NH 2200. This allows you to execute local commands that loop container image and run containers in the cloud. Docker Swarm manage the container instance in the agent virtual machines as well as the agent virtual machines themselves. You don't have to know this to use Azure Container Service, but it does help explain various ports 
following command that you employ by running the Docker client on a local machine connected to Azure. This command would in a terminal windows on OS apps or Linux. Windows, windows user need to use a third party SSH to such a booty. The purpose of the dash L switch is to forward traffic transmitter through port 22375 on the local machine that the port used by Docker CLI to port 2375 at the end to the other end. Docker Swarm listen on port 2375. The dash P switch instructs to use port 2200 rather than the default 22. The loop balances you. You are connecting to listen on port 2200 and forward the SSH message. It received the port 22 and on the master VM. Now we talk about cognitive services. Cognitive services include more than 21 API that fall in five categories vision, speech, language, knowledge, and search. Microsoft Cognitive Services is a set of intelligent API for building equally intelligent applications. It currently offers more than 21 different APIs for analyzing image, videos, text, and much more. For more information, you can visit microsoft.com slash cognitive services. Okay, now we how con now we talk about container support in Azure Cognitive Services. Control over data. Allow customer to choose where this cognitive service process their data. It is essential for customer that cannot send data to the cloud but need access cognitive, access cognitive services technology. Support consistency in hybrid environment across data, management, identity, and security. The second, control over model update, provide customer flexibility, versioning, and updating of model deploy in their solution. The third one, the portable architect, enable the creation of portable application architect that can deploy on Azure on premise and the edge. Container can be deployed directly. Directly to Azure Cognitive Services. Azure Container Instant or to a to a Kubernetes cluster deployed to Azure Stack. For more information, see deployed Kubernetes to Azure Stack. The last one. Provide a customer the ability to scale for high throughput and low latency requirement by enabling cognitive services to run physically close to their application logic and data. Container do not cap transaction second, and can be made to scale up, move up and up to handle demand if you provide the necessary hardware resources. Currently, the container support in this field are uh, Azure Cognitive Services, which are computer vision, face, release time, test needed. Okay, now let's go for demo. Okay, now you can you have uh, the image locally, but in order to run a container, you need to get a valid API key and be a link endpoint. Then pass them as command line argument. First, go to Azure Portal, open the cognitive services blade. If you don't have cognitive services that match this container, in this case, a test analytics services, then select add and create one. It should be something like this. 
once you have cognitive services and get the endpoint and API key, you will need this to fire up the container. To fire up the container, you use the docker run command at to pass requires docker option and image argument. When running, you should see something like this. Okay, trying it out. In this console, Windows can see the container is listening on localhost 5000. So let open your favorite browsers and point it to that. Okay, after that, now select service API screen or jump directly localhost sugar. This will give you the detail of the screen of API. Select try it now, try it out, and then as you, you can change the input value as you like. The result will show up for, uh, further down on the page and should look like something like this following image. You are now up and running. You can play around with the Swagger US and try out various scenario. Okay, that's all for my presentation today. If you got anything, you can message me or comment at the video below. That's all for today. Thank you.